quickly uh, show taking it apart and uh, just because uh, it stopped working it could be just the block that connector block that's blown so the whole video is just I'm going to show you how to uh, get to that first of all we'll take the rubbers off This thing, all I use is like I've got a bit of 2B1 timber. only a gentle tap doesn't do any damage to the to the housing or the cover no damage at all but it's a bit easier then you've got the fan all I use socket I have a bit of a towel just to a grip and does it is sharp if you're just gonna try with your hands that's why you use the towel mm -hmm. and you've obviously got the nut and you've got that washer there the fan and you've got that washer okay four screws I believe just a uh, torque T20 size heads, which is pretty standard on um, well, most of the Miley range, apart from the older type, which is a uh, crosshead. There we go. And that's, uh, you can't see very well, but. And it's literally gently. Sometimes what I do put the nut back on. Okay, just tap it down. Tap it down with a bit of wood. Releases it. Keeps it all in place. No damage because you got and that on protecting the uh, thread right. Right. camera was in the wrong position but we've reset it now right and there's the insides and before if you notice your bushes that are gone brushes but this is the block I'm on a bit and it just pulls out Inside, you just pull that tab, just pull that tabs, that cover comes out, and all you need to do is do a visual check. If these are blown, you'll have a brown burnt mark on them, and that could be all that's wrong with your motor. And these are much cheaper to get. I mean, eBay's the uh, most common place from because uh, not a lot of places have an eBay sell the parts. But if you did just want to check the bushes, you just there we go. Now well, the bushes have gone in this one, but as you can see, as a demonstration, they go into the slot there, so they fit and they'd be a lot longer, a lot springier. So you push them right the way in. And just slot them in one at a time. This one's going to be the same. No, no spring at all. Totally dead. I did have on there actually bushes. Yeah. So that's totally expected. 
but the block is absolutely fine. Yeah. And that's basically it. Make sure your uh, little strap is connected down. But once you get another one of them, it's just literally slot back and everything goes back in. Got two little circular They are pretty uh, straightforward to work on once you've done a few. But hopefully the video just helps. As we all know, Hoovers nowadays are expensive, so if it's literally a pound, a fifteen pound connector block, which gets your whole Hoover up and running again, then I think that's not bad. Not a bad way to get a bit more life out of your vacuum. So there we go. Doing it up is uh, anti clockwise. And you need that hand tight. Squeezes up tight. And uh, yeah. And if you had a new new block fit to yours you could uh, be up and running, possibly. But it could be your bushes. Anyway, hope it helps save a few motors. Thanks.